the FizzWiz Bubbles Anywhere Edition. We're going to take a real detailed look at a carbonation that went incredibly well. This is like the perfect carbonation. Um, they started it late afternoon and it finished early in the morning around 8.30 the next day. So I've labeled everything so we know what we're talking about. The red plot here is the temperature. The uh, blue plot is the target pressure. The uh, yellow plot is the tank pressure, uh, which is measured by the CIP on the CIP arm. And the green one is the volumes that were set by the user. So let's start at the beginning. We can see that when this beverage was put in the uh, bright tank, the carbonation tank, it was too warm. So it didn't take long to get down. Uh, it may be that only there might have been some stratification in the tank. Uh, but it didn't take long to cool down, but the FizzWiz wouldn't initially start carbonating until the product was around uh, 3 degrees Celsius. And so you can see here the temperature cooled down and then the FizzWiz fizz was kicked in here. So this section here is called the pre-scrub. And the pre-scrub uh, is uh, a usable, a user-selectable um, setting. So when you, when you after you've hit new batch and selected the start temperature, it'll ask you whether you want to use the pre-scrub or not. And pre-scrub is a good idea if you use uh, press filtering and you're worried about um, uh, dissolved oxygen. And what we're doing here is we're dissolving uh, three, three pounds per square inch, just over a volume of CO2 into your product and then we're going to vent it down to one psi and the idea here is that that the first dilution is always the greatest so any freely available oxygen will get knocked into the headspace and then we'll we'll vent it out the cip arm via the fizzwiz so you don't you don't have to do do this fizzwiz does this all automatically but this is the pre-scrub so that's the tank pressure going up to three psi venting down slowly over about uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, and uh, and then going into the actual carbonation process here. Okay, so that's a really good pre-scrub. If you were to select no to pre-scrub, then you wouldn't have this part of the graph. You would just have this part of the graph. Okay, so, so we can look at the temperature here, and we can see that the temperature is always cooling, and then, I suppose around six o'clock in the morning, we saw a little bit of increase in temperature, but not very much. But this is the beverage. Um, this is the beverage cooling down, and this is this is why doing a long carbonation over a short carbonation is such a good idea, because when when the temperature initially settled out, we were just under two degrees, and by the end of it, you know we're right down at, I suppose that's around half a degree. So that's like a one and a half degree difference almost, which is which is a massive error if you're trying to do this manually. But the FizzWiz has chased all this, chased this temperature, and it's adjusted the finished equilibrium pressure uh, perfectly to go along with the temperature. So this is the carbonation area. You can see here the first little bit, um, just a little bit there, like it goes quite quickly and that's because we've picked up some carbonation from the pre-scrub area so if you had a little bit of residual carbonation um, in the tank you can see here that the CO, that the fizzwiz has injected the co2 into the product but there's no room for it so that pressure is kicked out quicker into the headspace so that first little bit here just went a little bit quicker so so i know that this is a um uh, a 30 barrel bright tank with a 12 inch carbonation stone and the uh, brewer has set it up so that their tank transfer is finished around three in the afternoon or late afternoon and he's got his flow rates dialed in so that the carbonation is finished just before the workers 
come into work in the morning. So they could actually go straight to packaging at this point here, which which is roughly around 8.30 in the morning. So that is a perfect, beautiful um, carbonation plot for a 30 barrel bright uh, with a, a 12 inch carb stone. So, so you can get, as long as your carb stone is matched um, to the size of your bright tank, a carbonation plot like this will get you extremely repeatable um, uh, carbonations. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. FizzWiz Bubbles Anywhere for total automated carbonation control. Contact us today or visit us at www.brewwiz.com.